Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we're looking at Psalm 36. David, in this chapter, first looked at the character or the corruption, I should have said, of the human heart, and it wasn't very good to look at and brought him great discouragement. But then David looked up and saw the wonderful character and the attributes of the heart of God. And when he looked into the heart of God, he saw righteousness and he saw truth and he saw loving kindness and he saw mercy and he was encouraged. And as we said yesterday, he finished these verses in verse nine out with this word, for with you is the fountain of life. And in your light, we will see light. Oh, how life and light go together. You know, the very first thing God did in creation was said, let there be light. And then John tells us in chapter one of John that Jesus, God, is the one and the same. The word of God is God. And all things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made. In verse four, listen, in him was life and the life was the light of men. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. My friend, if you want life, you come to Jesus Christ. And when you come and receive his life, guess what? You get light. Jesus said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The Bible says the wicked walk in darkness. They know not at what they stumble. But when you come to Jesus Christ, you have light. And I love Psalm 119 verse 105. Thy word is a lamp to my feet feet and a light to my path. Did you hear that? My feet is where I'm walking. I've got to make sure I don't stumble over something. And then the light is to my path that lets me see down the road far enough to know if there's any obstacles there, any danger there, because you don't want to walk in darkness. You stumble. Oh, my friend, this is, this is so powerful. Then we see the last verses because now, David, once you reflect on the character, the attributes of God, his goodness, and you're walking in his life, guess what happens? You have confidence that the Lord will protect you and take care of you. Listen to the last verses of this chapter. David now prays, Oh, continue your loving kindness to those who know you and your righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me and let not the hand of the wicked drive me away. There the workers of iniquity have fallen. They've been cast down and not able to rise. So David again contrasts the person who walks in the wicked way. He falls, he can't rise again. Proverbs tells us the righteous man falls seven times and yet rises again. We read in 2 Corinthians 4, we get knocked down, but we don't get knocked out because we can get back up because we have the light, we have the life, we have the hand of the Lord upon us. Now notice David said, let not the foot of pride come against me or the hand of the wicked drive me away. Oh no, my friend, when you know God, you know him, you know his righteousness and his hand is upon you, guess what happened? You enjoy the blessings of God. Oh, I hope you'd take time to read Psalm 30, I'm sorry, uh, Genesis chapter 39, the story of Joseph. And Joseph was thrown into prison. His brothers sold him into slavery. A lady lied about him. He had all kinds of problems. But everywhere Joseph went, it says, and the Lord was with him, and the hand of the Lord was upon him. And my friend, when the hand of the Lord is upon you, protecting you, the hand of the wicked will not defeat you. The hand of the Lord is far stronger. It's a strong place. It's a strong hand. And you can always put your trust in him. I encourage you today, think on these Psalms. Oh, he prays, continue, oh God, your loving kindness to those who know you. In Psalm 910, and those who know his name will put their trust in him. For you, O oh Lord, do not forsake those who seek you. And you know, then he will have uprightness. He'll have righteousness to those who are upright in their hearts. When you follow the Lord and you have an upright heart, guess what? You walk in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Isn't that wonderful? He is your shepherd. He leads you. All these Psalms and verses just come together to encourage us 
to know that we have a God, when you know Him, you look on His attributes, His character, you can pray, oh Lord, with expectation, with confidence, you can face the day and say, oh Lord, continue your loving kindness to those who know you. And God, we thank you for loving us and helping us today and bless everyone listening to this pastor's chat with your encouragement and with your hand upon them. Have a wonderful day.